Hey Maker, I recently learned about a tip that has been a game changer when it comes to cutting with my laser and I am so excited about it. I feel like I have to let you guys, I have to tell you like now because if you don't know about it, you're gonna love it and it's totally gonna help you cut even more efficiently with your machine. You ready? Let's do it. But first, it's time for cafecito. It's time for cafecito. <laughs> it's time for cafecito. Can you say hi? Hi everybody. Hi. <laughs> Cha, 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 cha. Okay, I've had my cafecito and I'm ready to try and explain this to you guys. Okay, so I've got my handy dandy little iPad here and I drew up a little <laughs> diagram for you. So let's, let's hope that my diagram does the job that I want it to do. Okay guys, here's my little diagram. Hopefully it makes sense. Here you have the laser beam. Okay, it's hitting all the mirrors. It's finally getting ready to come down into the nozzle. It hits the last mirror and it goes through that focal lens that helps it become concentrated to its most powerful point right here, to the tiniest little dot it can become, all right? Now, this is the strongest part of the beam, okay? So when you're engraving, you definitely wanna have that strongest part of the beam on the surface of your material. And for the purpose of this diagram, we're gonna pretend that we're working with a quarter inch you know material in this case six millimeters okay but what if what if you could get the strongest part of the beam not on the surface of your material when you're cutting but you could push it down so that it hits the center instead you see where I'm going with this so I hope this is making sense and I hope it becomes helpful for you guys because it's really all I want to do. I just want to help you guys be even more efficient with your machines. So to get that strongest part of the beam pushed down through midway through the center, basically what we have to do is find whatever our autofocus is and subtract half of the material thickness from that autofocus. So basically we're going to raise our honeycomb tray half of the material thickness. All right, so let me show you how I get it done. Okay, Maker, so to do this, you are gonna need either a ruler or fortunately, Eon, they give us these little focus gauges so it makes it a lot easier. And I've already gone ahead and auto-focus between nine millimeters and 10 millimeters. So if I see this, there it is, perfect. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to subtract half of my material thickness. In this case, I've got six millimeter thick wood, so I'm gonna subtract three from what auto-focused, which is 10. So I need to subtract it so that it's at seven millimeters around there. So you're gonna wanna remove this, never focus with anything underneath your beam, okay? And now I am going to manually raise my bed, and then I'm going to check it again. Ooh, I'm almost there. I think I can get it just a little closer. Okay, and I'm gonna try one more time. And that is perfect. Okay, so now I am ready to cut and speed things up. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this helps you become even more efficient with your cutting. And I look forward to seeing you here next time over at That Mom with a Laser. I'd love to hear from you, so leave your questions and comments below, and I'll see you here next time at That Mom with a Laser.